on American Restoration. Holy crap, man, this thing's a pile. I want you to fix it up for my dad. Rick is one of our top customers. If I don't get this right, he's going to go somewhere else. I lit the carpet on fire. Wow. The 1950s fully loaded Hopalong Cassidy bicycle. It's a tribute to my father. It's finishing what me and him started when I was younger. The biggest issue I'm going to have with this is finding parts. Remember back in the day when things were made by hand and people took pride in their work? My name's Rick Dale, and I bring these things back to life. Every restoration has its own set of challenges. There's no owner's manual for what we do, but there's no job we can't handle. crap <laughs> what do you think <laughs> take it back <laughs> rick harrison has a pawn shop in las vegas he buys the biggest pieces of crap he can find and actually brings them here and expects me to restore them and then he sells them for a huge profit what are you wanting to do with it i want no. you to fix it up for my dad the old man's got a huge piece of property and this will get him around on it well, it looks like you've got about a 1960s marketeer golf cart. That thing there in its day, I mean, literally, was the Rolls Royce. Now we're just lucky if it rolls. <laughs> I came to Rick Dale's today because he is a certified miracle worker. I mean, I've brought him turds before, but this is dinosaur crap. But once it's restored, my dad's going to love it. Where the hell did you find this thing? I bought it off a guy for 150 bucks. Wow. Well, that's a good deal. Three wheel was the very first cart. You know, it's rare. The Marketeer golf cart was one of the very first golf carts you could get. Only the richest could get one of these, like guys like Arnold Palmer. And they were just totally awesome. That's definitely got to redone. <laughs> Don't break it now, Rick. <laughs> Man, this thing's a pile. This used to be the brake. It had a little handle on it, like you have in an old Jeep or something that snapped over okay you know as we throttle it raises a little more a little more gives a little more battery a little more battery a little more battery when they first made these carts back in the 1940s they made them run off of batteries because of the gas rationing in world war ii how much thing it would cost a fortune <laughs> <laughs> how much you got <laughs> i'm gonna need to replace almost everything inside this thing i mean all new batteries wheels even a top you're probably gonna have 1,500 in parts alone. We're gonna have to do the interior, eight hours in paint, and a ton of body work. We're talking at least 40 man hours on this thing. You're looking right around 6,500. 6,500? It's for the old man. I'm gonna be an old man by the time this is done. They can get it done for like 55, since I'm not gonna sell it, I'm not gonna make no money off it. You know what, I'll go six to be on the safe side. Since you're the negotiator, <laughs> master. All right, six grand. Do it up for six All grand. Right. <laughs> Thanks, man. Awesome. Another project. Chumley, unload this thing. I'll give my guys. Rick is one of our top customers. If I don't get this right, he's going to go somewhere else. This one has to be perfect because it's for the old man. Piece of junk. My crew is one of a kind. <laughs> but somehow, they get the job done. Get on the front, girl. My son Tyler has been working for me since he was two years old. Sometimes impresses the hell out of me. Push me. Other times, he is just lazy. Come on, what are you doing? Well, there ain't no way we're gonna push this over there with that flat tire on the front. Push it on the rim. Cowboy is the grumpiest bastard I've ever met. This is why I hate working here. Stupid kids can't do anything right. He would have a bad thing to say about a bonus. Today, chill out. Push Let's that. go. Come on. Go. God. Holy I didn't say floor it. Stupid ass. Let me 
to Dragon Hill Hospital? I ain't going to no hospital. I'm waiting on them two boys out there. I've been restoring antiques for almost 30 years. And I built my business on attention to detail. I want a pattern made in here just absolutely perfect. And every single day is a new set of challenges. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Wow. A little rusty, huh? That's awesome. I came to Rick's Restorations today to have him restore my 1950s Hopalong Cassidy bicycle. Did you ever get to ride this? Yeah, I rode it when I was about 11 years old. The seat was made out of horsehair leather. Yeah. And I didn't like it because it used to make my butt itch. <laughs> what we got is a 1950s roll fast Hopalong Cassidy fully loaded 26 inch bicycle. A little rough. Yeah. yeah. So where'd you get it? Uh, it used to belong to my father. He got it from my uncle, and my uncle got it from my grandfather. So what's it been doing since then? It's been sitting outside for 20 years. Me and my dad, we were going to restore it, and I took off and went back to Missouri, and the bicycle got put on a back burner. And my dad died last October, and I got the money to do it, so I decided to It's time. It. It's time. Yeah. Right on. In a way, it's a tribute to my father. It's finishing what me and him started when I was younger. Do you know why they called it Hopalong Cassidy? They had a TV series back in the 50s, right. 1950s. Right, and they came out with tons and tons of collectibles. Yes. And the deal is, this is the most collectible of all the hoppy stuff. And when it was all pretty back in the 50s, it, it had so much flash to it. They literally studded out the whole fender, both sides. They had gas tanks on the side. They had big white walls on it. Even the chain was white. These guys put a lot of pride and a lot of work into this. Nowadays, they don't do that anymore. Nowadays, you just get it. That's it. The biggest issue I'm going to have with this is finding parts. Like anything that's old, finding parts is the hardest thing because people throw them away. There used to be a big light on the front yeah. of this. Gas tanks on the side and yeah. the emblems. we got to find some of those parts. When I restore something like this, I want to get all the original parts I possibly can. I can remanufacture parts, but it totally takes away from its authenticity and its value. Now, the big question, what is it going to cost me to restore it? This bike's going to take, take a lot. I mean, we're going to have to go from the ground up. The body work is going to take probably eight hours. You got an hour in painting and eight hours in pen striping. We're right around $2,500. Plus parts. Okay. I'm not rich, but... This is important to me. This is what I wanted to do. All right. So, you so let's, let's do it. Let's right. do it. Let's go in here and I'll take a little of your cash. All right. Get the torches in here and cut that off. I really do want Tyler taking over this business someday. And lately, he's really been stepping it up. Oops. I lit the carpet on fire. I got a big problem. It's totally destroyed. If our customer isn't totally blown away, I haven't done my job. I need you to make it look like one. That's one hodious seat. <laughs> Earlier, one of my best customers brought in a 1960s Marketeer golf cart. I knew how to do a lot of stuff, but the thing I take the most pride in is knowing exactly when to ask for help. Before we tear this thing down, I need to get somebody that really knows these things inside now. Holy crap, that thing's huge. Is that because you uh, deal with golf carts all day long? Pretty much. <laughs> I've been working on golf carts for 14 years. Man, I laid one eye on that thing, and that thing is a piece of crap. I know it's a 1960s marketeer. Yeah, it was pretty much top of the line back in its day. Yeah, I know that we need to uh, make it pretty, and I think we want to uh, make it run very efficiently. I mean, we can do the body work and stuff, but I can see a lot more parts I'm going to need. Can I find parts for this? Yeah, what we're probably going to do is have to find a donor vehicles to get some of the parts that, you know, you're not going to be able to find and not be able to make. Right. If we can make it run right and we make it beautiful, that's exactly what the customer's going to be want. We can do it. All right. Rick wants this cart to look just like it did back in the day, but it also has to be safe and reliable because it's a gift for the old man. Thank you very much. For no coming problem. By. Earlier, a guy brought in a Hopalong Cassidy bike. The first step in a project like this is to get all your parts separated and then cleaned up. 
The problem is, we don't have all the parts. So while my guys are tearing it apart, Tyler and I are going to go visit my friend and see if we can find some of the missing parts. In this business, it's all about finding the original parts. And if you don't get lucky and find them on the internet, it's going to take a lot of legwork to find them. Chewy, what's up? How are you doing? Good, how are you? Chewy's a bicycle parts guy. I don't know how long he's been doing this, but it looks like he's been doing it for a long, long time. Okay, Rick, have I got a surprise for you? Let's see what you got. I'm very good, very excellent in finding, you know, odd things, especially on bicycles. Let's see it. Papillone Cassidy. Yeah, those are awesome. Man, absolutely, look at how, those are perfect. And this is a headlight. Right. Yeah, a headlight. Right, it used to have a little battery in it. Yeah. Let's see. What's in there? A couple of little emblems. Oh, let me see those. <laughs> oh, oh, man. These are those absolutely, are these are like gold. You can't find these anywhere. That's, how do you even find something like this? Oh, I guess. I can't reveal my sources. Ah, come on, Chewie. <laughs> this is why I come to him. It would have taken me weeks to track down these parts. And every minute that I save myself is money in my pocket. So what's this going to set me back? About $300. For the everything? For everything. Yeah, I, I think that's a great deal. There you go. All right. Well, I thank you very much. Thank you. I'm psyched Chewie was able to find these parts, but that's only half the battle. Now we got to get down to it and start building this bike. Get the box, T. Relax, I got the box. <laughs> Don't Good lose job, any. Look at that hole. Get, get, get it up. Hold it. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you, Chewie. Now I can go to the bar and get cool. working on a 1960s golf cart for Rick Harrison, one of my regular customers. Grab a crescent wrench. We knew we were missing some parts, so Robert sold me a parts car. A parts car is an ideal solution on this project. It's gonna save me a ton of money getting the majority of my parts all at once. Push! I'm pushing! Fucking thing. We don't need the body of this car. All we need is the brake assembly off the chassis. So we're gonna take that off and put it on the customer's car. How are we looking? Just let it fall. Oh. We gotta get this is welded. Rick. Yeah? We're running into a little problem here. What? Our brake. Our whole brake assembly is welded to the frame. Okay. Completely. Okay, well, since it's a parts machine, let's go ahead and get the torches in here and cut that off, and then we have the piece. I really do want Tyler taking over this business someday. Lately, he's really been stepping it up. I lit the carpet on fire. Oops. But he still has a lot to learn. One of our big projects is this Hopalong Cassidy bicycle. Nothing about these projects is easy. The seat is rusted out, so we gotta bang one out by hand. I got a ton of projects going on, and my team is swamped. So I called in one of my freelancers, Bob. I've been doing body work for 38 years. I can take metal and, and hammer it to any type of shape. I can, if you give me a picture, I can make, I can make the picture in the metal. What do you got for me today, Rick? I got a big problem. Uh, this is a seat off a bicycle, and it, I know it doesn't look like it anymore, but I need you to make it look like one. That's one hodious seat. <laughs> when we took the material off, this is what it looked like. It's totally destroyed. So I'm gonna need you to see if you can work some magic on that. I left my magic wand at home, but I did bring my hammer. <laughs> Get my stuff out of my bike. Okay. Bob's like a medieval blacksmith. He can make anything with just a hammer and a piece of metal. Pounding metal is just like uh, drawing a picture. All I do is just follow the outlines that I started, and then I just hammer it right into the part. I use plastic mallets, uh, some of them leather wrap, some of them wood, and I actually use some metal too, but the base is done mostly on a sandbag. The sandbag is actually BB shot, 
used taken from hunting uh, shotgun shells and it's put into a leather bag and what it does it conforms to the metal that you're pounding we're typically working on between six and twelve projects at a time so we're constantly bouncing back and forth between items the golf cart is a huge project we have most of the parts together now it's just a matter of grunt work for the golf cart the back seat. This is the one the cowboy fell on and broke. Bend it all up. Good. Perp. After we get all the rust and paint off, we do body work. Basically get all the dents out, make it all smooth, and then we prime and paint it. The Hopalon Cassidy bike has been a lot of fun since we found all the parts for this project. We painted it up, pinstriped it, and now we're just doing some final touches before the customer comes and picks it up. Yeah, the client's gonna be here any minute. You got a little room on that, so you can go ahead and make that tight. This bike has to be perfect. If our customer isn't totally blown away, I haven't done my job. Hey, James, how's it going? All right, how you doing? Good, how are you? Fine. You excited for the bike? Yeah. My dad loves revealing items to customers in crazy ways. So I agreed to meet James out front so he wouldn't look around and blow the surprise. I can't wait to see it. My dad got this bicycle when I was 11 years old, and we were planning on restoring it then and never got around to finishing it. It's around here somewhere. Yeah? I think. <laughs> oh, here oh, it comes. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That looks like a brand new bike. Well, it pretty much is. My dad would love to see this bike like this. Yeah, I bet. That'd you bring know? back a lot of good memories, huh? Yeah. Is it the way you remembered it? It, it didn't look this good. Never? No. no. Looks like it just came out of the store. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of work in that, let me tell you. Tell me what you did on this. What didn't we do? Um, the Hopalong bike was a total flashy, all deluxe bike, and that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to keep it all its flash. I mean, this has chrome triple plated. The yeah. seat, this is horse. Yeah. Um, in fact, if you look over there at my horse, it's missing a little patch on its ass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> These are all original. We chrome plated it. We uh -huh. hand painted all that inside there, red, and left the roll fast, you know, all yeah. in crow blanket came. The bike came out excellent. It looked terrible when I first brought it here. Now it looks awesome. It looks. Totally cool. So how much did it cost? All right, well, the restoration was um, was the 2,500 to do the whole thing, okay? In parts, you got another $500, so we're right at three grand to put the bike together, just like this. The value on this right now is uh, right around $6,000. <laughs> wow. So you wanna ride it? Yeah. What we do is extremely hard, but when you see a guy climb on his bike that him and his late father were supposed to put together, it makes it totally worth it. The moment we show a finished product to the customer is the most important moment of the entire process. Hey, Rick, you around? Oh my God. One of my biggest projects lately has been a golf cart for Rick Harrison, a local pawn shop owner. My team's been working really hard, and now Tyler and I are putting on the final touches before the customer comes over. Okay, see if you can slide it up. No, nope, more. Okay. Perfect. We're good. Always put stuff on finger tight first, and then tighten, 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 tighten. Okay? So, Tyler, what's the most important thing when we're doing this stuff? The attention to detail. That's a fact. That's exactly right. All right, T, great job. It looks looks awesome. Thanks. The customer is going to love that. 
The moment we show a finished product to the customer is the most important moment of the entire process. What in the hell are we doing out here? Don't worry about it. I got something for you. I got oh, bull. The old man's in a really bad mood right now because we took him out of the shop, but I think he's going to be happy once he sees this thing. Hey, Rick, you around? <laughs> oh, my God. What do you think of it, Dad? This is for driving around your compound. They come out real nice. The ultimate toy. <laughs> you know, it just looks badass. You know, I thought it was something that would be cool for the old man. I'd cruise this thing around. Well, I designed this for you. Teed off, you know, I see you all the time and, and, and you're teed off a lot. That pretty much says it all. Yeah, if he's not pissed off, he's not happy. That's right. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I think I've seen you make that face before. <laughs> oh, okay. How bad was it when you got it? It was trash. It was totally trash. This was literally a ground up restoration. And we painted it green and then it needed something else. So we, this is all actually paint that looks like wood on the sides. Then we upholstered it and you'll see the seats match the top back up inside there. All the wood, of course, was rotted. Everything was rotted. So we had all this. This is all solid oak. We built this bimini top, and uh, then we upholstered it. Come on back here. Richard, would you like uh, you like a cold beverage? <laughs> oh, now we, hey, that's kind of put yourself a little cooler in there. There you go. <laughs> yeah. That'll work. In work. case you get thirsty on the road, I'll be honest with you, Rick, you did a hell of a job on it. You took a piece of trash and turned it into something that's beautiful. So, old man, you want to take it for a spin? Yeah, I'll give it a tour. The golf cart come out of Mason. It's a cuter than hell. I'll ride around in it, and I'll have some fun with it. Four! <laughs> You looking good, old timer. <laughs> Just his speed. <laughs> you got a little room on that, so you can go ahead and make that tight. <laughs> this bike has to be perfect. If our customer isn't totally blown away, I haven't done my job. Hey, James, how's it going? All right, how you doing? Good, how are you? Fine. You excited for the bike? Yeah. My dad loves revealing items to customers in crazy ways. So I agreed to meet James out front so he wouldn't look around and blow the surprise. I can't wait to see it. My dad got this bicycle when I was 11 years old and we were planning on restoring it then and never got around to finishing it. It's around here somewhere. Yeah? I think. <laughs> Oh, oh here he my comes. Wow. 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 So what do you think? That looks like a brand new bike. Well, it pretty much is. My dad would love to see this bike like this. Yeah, I bet. That brings back a lot of good memories, huh? Yeah. Is it the way you remembered it? It, it didn't look this good. Never? Uh, no. It looks like it just came out of the store. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of work in that, let me tell you. Tell me what you did on this. What didn't we do? Um, the Hopalong bike was a total flashy, all deluxe bike. And that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to keep it all its flash. I mean, this has chrome triple plated. The yeah. seat, this is horse. Yeah. Um, in fact, if you look over there at my horse, it's missing a little patch on its ass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> These are all original. We chrome plated it. We hand painted all that inside there, red, and left the roll fast, you know, all yeah. in chrome blank it came. The bike came out excellent. It looked terrible when I first brought it here. Now it looks awesome. It looks totally cool. So how much did it cost? All right, well, the restoration was, um, was the 2,500 to do the whole thing, okay? In parts, you got another $500, so we're right at three grand to put the bike together, just like this. The value on this right now is uh, right around $6,000. <laughs> wow. So you want to ride it? Yeah. What we do is extremely hard. But when you see a guy climb on his bike that him and his late father were supposed to put together, it makes it totally worth it. The moment we show a finished product to the customer is the most important moment of the entire process. Hey, Rick. 
You around? Oh my God. One of my biggest projects lately has been a golf cart for Rick Harrison, a local pop down these parts. And every minute that I save myself is money in my pocket. So what's this gonna set me back? About $300. For the everything? For everything. Yeah, I, I think that's a great deal. There you go. All right. Well, I thank you very much. Thank you. I'm psyched Chewy was able to find these parts, but that's only half the battle. Now we got to get down to it and start building this bike. Get the box, T. Relax, I got the box. <laughs> Don't Good lose job, any. Look at that hole. Get, get, get it up. Hold it. Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you, Chewy. Now I can go to the bar and get cool. working on a 1960s golf cart for Rick Harrison, one of my regular customers. Grab a crescent wrench. We knew we were missing some parts, so Robert sold me a parts car. A parts car is an ideal solution on this project. It's gonna save me a ton of money getting the majority of my parts all at once. Push! I'm pushing! Fucking thing. We don't need the body of this cart. All we need is the brake assembly off the chassis. So we're gonna take that off and put it on the customer's cart. How are we looking? Just let it fall. Oh. We gotta get the f is welded. Rick. Yeah? We're running into a little problem here. What? Our brake. Our whole brake assembly is welded to the frame. Okay. Completely. Okay, well, since it's a parts machine, let's go ahead and get the torches in here and cut that off, and then we have the piece. I really do want Tyler taking over this business someday. Lately, he's really been stepping it up. I lit the carpet on fire. Oops. But he still has a lot to learn. One of our big projects is this Hopalong Cassidy bicycle. Nothing about these projects is easy. The seat is rusted out, so we gotta bang one out by hand. I got a ton of projects going on, and my team is swamped. So I called in one of my freelancers, Bob. I've been doing body work for 38 years. I can take metal and, and hammer it to any type of shape. I can, if you give me a picture, I can, make, I can make the picture in the metal. What do you got for me today, Rick? I got a big problem. Uh, this is a seat off a bicycle, and it, I know it doesn't look like it anymore, but I need you to make it look like one. That's one hodious seat. <laughs> when we took the material off, this is what it looked like. It's totally destroyed. So I'm gonna need you to see if you can work some magic on that. I left my magic wand at home, but I did bring my hammer. <laughs> but together, it makes it totally worth it. we show a finished product to the customer is the most important moment of the entire process. Hey, Rick, you around? Oh, my God. One of my biggest projects lately has been a golf cart for Rick Harrison, a local pawn shop owner. My team's been working really hard, and now Tyler and I are putting on the final touches before the customer comes over. Okay, see if you can slide it up. Nope, more. Okay. Perfect. We're good. Always put stuff on finger tight first, and then tighten, 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 tighten. Okay? So, Tyler, what's the most important thing when we're doing this stuff? The attention to detail. That's a fact. That's exactly right. All right, T, great job. It looks, looks awesome. Thanks. The customer is going to love that. The moment we show a finished product to the customer is the most important moment of the entire process. What in the hell are we doing out here? Don't worry about it. I got something for you. I got... Oh, bull. The old man's in a really bad mood right now because we took him out of the shop, but I think he's going to be happy once he sees this thing. Hey, Rick, you around? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What do you think of it, Dad? This is for driving around your compound. They come out real nice. Uh, the ultimate toy. <laughs> you know, it just looks badass. You know, I thought it was something that would be cool for the old man. I'd cruise this thing around. Well, I designed this 
for you. Teed off, you know, I see you all the time, and, and, and you're teed off a lot. That pretty much says it all. Yeah, if he's not pissed off, he's not happy. That's right. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I think I've seen you make that face before. <laughs> oh, okay. How bad was it when you got it? It was trash. It was totally trash. This was literally a ground-up restoration. And we painted it green, and then it needed something else. So we, this is all actually paint that looks like wood on the sides. Then we upholstered it, and you'll see the seats match the top back up inside there. All the wood, of course, was rotted. Everything was rotted. So we had all this. This is all solid oak. We built this, Bimini Top, and uh, then we upholstered it. Come on back here. Richard, would you like uh, you like a cold beverage? <laughs> oh. Now, hey, that's kind of you neat. Put yourself a little cooler in there. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> that'll, work, that'll work. In case you get thirsty on the road. I'll be honest with you, Rick. You did a hell of a job on it. You took a piece of trash and turned it into something that's beautiful. So, old man, you want to take it for a spin? Yeah, I'll give it a tour. The golf cart come out amazing. It's a cuter than hell. I'll ride around in it, and I'll have some fun with it. A huge project. We have most of the parts together. Now it's just a matter of grunt work. This is for the golf cart. The back seat. This is the one that Cowboy fell on and broke. Bend it all up. After we get all the rust and paint off, we do body work. Basically get all the dents out, make it all smooth, and then we prime and paint it. The Hopalong Cassidy bike has been a lot of fun since we found all the parts for this project. We painted it up, pinstriped it, and now we're just doing some final touches before the customer comes and picks it up. Yeah, the client's gonna be here any minute. You got a little room on that, so you can go ahead and make that tight. This bike has to be perfect. If our customer isn't totally blown away, I haven't done my job. Hey, James, how's it going? All right, how you doing? Good, how are you? Fine. You excited for the bike? Yeah. My dad loves revealing items to customers in crazy ways. I agreed to meet James out front so he wouldn't look around and blow the surprise. I can't wait to see it. My dad got this bicycle when I was 11 years old and we were planning on restoring it then and never got around to finishing it. It's around here somewhere. Yeah? I think. <laughs> oh, here oh, he my comes. Goodness. <laughs> wow. So what do you think? That looks like a brand new bike. Well, it pretty much is. My dad would love to see this bike like this. Yeah, I bet. That brings back a lot of good memories, huh? Yeah. Is it the way you remembered it? It, it didn't look this good. Never? Uh, no. It looks like it just came out of the store. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of work in that, let me tell you. Tell me what you did on this. What didn't we do? Um, the Hopalong bike was a total flashy, all deluxe bike, and that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to keep it all its flash. I mean, this has chrome triple plated. The yeah. seat, this is horse. Yeah. Um, in fact, if you look over there at my horse, it's missing a little patch on its ass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> These are all original. We chrome plated it. We uh -huh. hand painted all that inside there, red, and left the roll fast, you know, all yeah. in chrome blank it came. The bike came out excellent. It looked terrible when I first brought it here. Now it looks awesome. It looks is uh, right around six thousand dollars. <laughs> wow! So you want to ride it? Yeah. What we do is extremely hard. But when you see a guy climb on his bike that him and his late father were supposed to put together, it makes it totally worth it. we show a finished product to the customer is the most important moment of the entire process. Hey, Rick, you around? Oh, my God. One of my biggest projects lately has been a golf cart 
for Rick Harrison, a local pawn shop owner. My team's been working really hard, and now Tyler and I are putting on the final touches before the customer comes over. Okay, see if you can slide it up. No nope, more. Okay. Perfect. We're good. Always put stuff on finger tight first, and then tighten, 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 tighten. Okay? So, Tyler, what's the most important thing when we're doing this stuff? The attention to detail. That's a fact. That's exactly right. All right, T, great job. It looks, looks awesome. Thanks. The customer is going to love that. The moment we show a finished product to the customer is the most important moment of the entire process. What in the hell are we doing out here? Don't worry about it. I got something for you. I got... Oh, bull. The old man's in a really bad mood right now because we took him out of the shop, but I think he's going to be happy once he sees this thing. Hey, Rick, you around? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What do you think of it, Dad? This is for driving around your compound. They come out real nice. Uh, the ultimate toy. <laughs> you know, it just looks badass. You know, I thought it was something that would be cool for the old man. I'd cruise this thing around. Well, I designed this for you. Teed off, you know, I see you all the time, and, and, and you're teed off a lot. That pretty much says it all. Yeah, if he's not pissed off, he's not happy. That's right. And I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I think I've seen you make that face before. <laughs> oh, okay. How bad was it when you got it? It was trash. It was totally trash. This was literally a ground-up restoration. And we painted it green, and then it needed something else. So we, this is all actually paint that looks like wood on the sides. Then we upholstered it, and you'll see the seats match the top back up inside there. All the wood, of course, was rotted. Everything was rotted. So we had all this. This is all solid oak. We built this, Bimini Top, and uh, then we upholstered it. Come on back here. Richard, would you like uh, you like a cold beverage? <laughs> oh. Now, hey, that's kind of you neat. Put yourself a little cooler in there. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> that'll work. In case you get thirsty on the road. I'll be honest with you, Rick.